Alrighty, let's do another one. So this tutorial we're going to be looking at um, uh, creating a, a, a drum bus for our drums. Now um, we don't have grouping yet in uh, Bitwig so it makes things a little bit different. Uh, however you can still route sounds to another track. Now <clears throat> let's do that. So first of all um, this is the track we were just playing previously when we we're talking about the LFO mod and how to um, use LFO to um, make things a little bit more interesting in your track. So let's just play that through. All right, that's that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create a new audio track. Now before we do anything, uh, we need to do a couple of things. We need to set the volume back to zero, and we do that by double clicking on it. Um, so if it's down here somewhere, we double click on it, it goes to zero. Uh, it's important, otherwise you'll think, how come it's not as loud <laughs> as it was? Uh, let's rename this too, and we're going to name this um, drum bus. All right. Um, and that's that bit. Now, uh, there's a debate, and you can you can debate this between yourself and your friends whether or not to add the kick into the drum bus or not. Um, sometimes I do, and sometimes I don't. It all depends on um, how it sounds uh, once I you know once I do some effects or you know do some compression on the drum bus or whatever. Uh, sometimes it sounds better with it in. Sometimes it doesn't, and I have to move it out. Sometimes you want to move the clap out or the snare out. It's up to you. But for this tutorial, we're just going to mix in the hi hat, the clap, and this one here, which should be called closed hi hat. Right. So let's start with the um, let's start with soloing the drum bus. There's nothing coming out. Um, there's nothing up my sleeve here. Um, let's take a look here. Right. Uh, where's the other? Oh, here it is. Um, click on that there to grab the input outputs. Now, um, nothing in the drum bus there. Uh, there's nothing coming in. It's going to the master. That's what we want. That's fantastic. Now we want to send. Let's send in the open hi hat. So instead of going to the master, we're going to choose drum bus. So there we go, now we've got that coming out through to the drum bus. Uh, let's choose now the clap. It's going to the master, let's send it to the drum bus. There we go. And finally, let's send the closed hi hat to the drum bus also. All right, there we go. Oh, was that simple actually? <laughs> really, really simple. Now you've got everything coming through to your drum bus. Uh, now you can do group effects on the drums. Uh, that's pretty cool. So if we want to do like a flanger effect or anything like that, let's throw on a flanger just for fun. Pretty useful if you're coming to a breakdown and you want to sort of get rid of your drums. Good way to do it. All right, so that's pretty much that. And then what I'd do, what I'd normally do on the drum bus is we could throw on like a um, a compressor. Uh, let's actually let's try um, the Pro C. Uh, where are you? Uh, Pro C, thirty two bit. Um, what I like to do on my drums is to parallel compress them. Now um, the Pro C has a default setting uh, drums parallel compression. Turn that off. Turn it back on. Makes a big difference parallel compression. Now the other thing we can do too is let's just solo that. really brings out what it does is it's compressing all the reverb and everything so instead of relying on our 
relying on the master channel to, um, or the plugins on the master channel to fix this sort of compression issue, we can compress it before we get to the mastering. And this is really fantastic, so we can really, really, really go to town on this and clean things up. So, what I want to do is, um, I'm going to try and add the kick to that and see what it sounds like. Hang on, I've got the right one. Got to make sure we get the right one. Kick. Send it from the master to the drum bus. Now, right away, you can tell that the kick is now completely crushing my drums. And this is one of the reasons why a lot of people will choose not to put the drum, their, their kick into the drum bus. So we can do a separate compression on that and send it to the master. Right. So what we'll do then is we can now mix in our drum bus. So that's pretty much that. Um, just a really quick tutorial on creating a drum bus for your drums. A little bit of an expl explanation about what you do on the drum bus. It's, I haven't really gone into detail too much. Uh, another thing you probably end up doing on here is throwing on an EQ, but definitely some parallel compression really adds to your track, adds some meat to it, adds a bit of depth. So uh, look into that. And like I said, some people choose to put the kick in and others don't because of the fact that it can actually really um, destroy your drums while putting on parallel compression. Alright, that's pretty much the end of the tutorial. I will catch you next time when we do something completely different.